Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. So let's take a look in the gold market. So usual in the weekly report we have prepared analysis of the recent political economical events. So I have taken some fresh look at the, at the banking crisis that stands in the United States and also have found some new sources of the possible collapse. For example, somehow everybody have um, forgotten about uh, the stock market. But actually, if you will take a look at the real drivers and the fuel for the recent rally on the stock market. You will be shocked. And with the current changes that stands in the banking sector, you will see that this party is well, somewhere near to be over. And with, when this driver will be eliminated, it's really bad times might be ahead for stock market and hardly we will wait for too long when this will happen. Second moment is the political events. So in in this report we have shown an interesting uh, collection of the recent events and this has happened probably within the one two months maybe and uh, well if you take a look at them with the, some time break and, and once the news have been released you're just forget about the previous news and the the, the overall picture is not uh, created in a whole puzzle in your in your head and currently I have just brought major events that have happened in recent well, maybe month together and we, when you will take a look, a look at it you will see how really drastically overall global picture is changing within the just few maybe weeks and, and it's, it's really amazing and also, as a final point of the report, we have taken a look at the petrodollar con concern, how it could impact uh, in general on the value of the United States dollar and what really could happen with the gold as a result of this massive uh, petroleum country's uh, demarche. So uh, we think that these uh, three topics are most important for the coal market right now. And uh, all of them bring something uh, personal to some something uh, separate to the overall picture. But in general, we could say that uh, background for gold definitely stands positive. So we could wait for and expect further appreciation for the gold in the nearest time and midterm. So we do not see currently any really reasons uh, in, in chances that situation could be could change soon speaking on the technical part market was closed on friday here um, on the daily chart you could see the breakout of the triangle market stops here some pullback reaction on the intraday target currently guys despite that the overall technical picture stands really positive but Mark, we suggest that gold currently is a bit uh, limited in upside potential. We suggest that it might be somewhere around uh, 20, 35, 20, 55 area. But hardly we will see a significant upward continuation. If, of course, nothing drastic will happen. Nothing outstanding. Uh, if everything will be more or less quiet on the markets, hardly gold will exceed 55, 20, 255 area in the coming week. It's just because of the overbought. Market overbought is on the weekly, is on the monthly chart. And we could suggest reaching with the 2055 area on the monthly chart, which is a yearly pivot resistance, one monthly overbought, but hardly we'll see a significant breakout. It means that if you intend to take the long position, you should consider nearly around 2050, 2055 as a potential sale for common week. It will be difficult to hold position for longer and do not meet, do not get significant pullback against you. So on the daily chart, we do not have something really uh, vital, except maybe this level is 1945, we probably could treat as a potential floor. On the common week, this is daily oversold and the major 30% support area. 
but uh, m most probable that we m will be busy with the intraday retracement based on the most most recent upward swing. So on the fall day from chart, you could see the target that market currently is reacting on. So this is the 27 extension of the butterfly. This is the pullback you can see. Um, and uh, since we talked about this already and overall upward action seems rather strong, we could consider action to the 1.618 extension, 2056, which is actually perfectly agrees with the daily butterfly target as well, which is actually this large butterfly, so which is actually 2055, so mostly in the same area. And so I think that we could use this as a potential nearest target. And that's what we'll be focused on. Uh, it means that on the beginning, in the beginning of the week, our major task is to catch the correct and uh, place where a theoretical market could turn down. Uh, sorry, could could turn up again. Based on this chart, we could use first the support of the trend line, which it was broken. Now it will become the support around 1985. It's right there. On the hourly chart, we could consider initial ABCD pattern market reacts on it very accurately so here's was the cop pullback op with some more or less stronger action minor pullback again and take a look xop stands 18 uh, 1987 which is also perfectly agrees with the trend line support that we have here right there it's actually the same support line as a, on a four hour time frame chart and also right there, very close, we have the confidence support, 1994-1997. So based on all this stuff, supposedly we could say that somewhere around 1988-1997, this will be an area where potentially market could turn up. So and we probably will be focused on this area, watching for possible reversal. Also here you could get some different other extensions, for example, you could use this ABCD pattern, so it also gives you extensions of around 1997. Maybe you could use uh, this one as well. Uh, another extension down that will bring you somewhere to the XOP area. But I think that at this point, and uh, because the market shows, well, not really very directional behavior, we don't have something really this, this type of action. It's more or less choppy, and so I think that we should uh, focus uh, first of all on the initial ABCD and use the final target of this initial ABCD as a possible destination point. So that's in short what we intend to do in the beginning of the week and see actually how market will react on this level.